Hi, I'm Pastor Brian Cluth, and this week I'd like to share a few encouraging thoughts with you about some of the ideas in the open-handed living in a tight-fisted world 30-day devotional. Hopefully you are getting excited about ways you can become more generous than you ever dreamed possible. The fifth key to living a generous life is to learn to systematically give 10% or more of whatever God has blessed you with. This can include your time, but it also should include giving from your financial provisions God has given you. The Bible tells us to give from whatever we have. I understand many people sometimes feel they can't give because they're afraid. They think, I don't have enough now, and if I give, I'll have even less. But I learned that giving is God's crazy math. When we give, we don't have less, we have more. When I started giving 10% to the Lord, I was in debt, and I had more month than I had money. But I soon discovered that when I gave, I received more of God's wisdom to make better financial decisions, more contentment, more peace in my heart about my finances, more faith in God's ability to provide, and more of God's creative provisions and financial blessings that stretched my meager and limited resources to be more than enough. The sixth key is to spontaneously give as the Lord leads you. As you learn to be a faithful and systematic giver, God will begin to move your heart to want to become even more generous. He will begin to stir you about special people and projects and needs you can help with your time, talent, treasure, and things. The seventh key is to learn to simplify your life to become even more generous. In your personal generosity journey, you will begin to discover that joy and contentment doesn't come from getting everything you ever wanted. Instead, you will finally realize that lasting joy and real contentment comes from being thankful for everything you have and gladly sharing it. God will show you that a life of giving, not just getting, is what real life and real living is all about. You will then find yourself motivated to simplify and rearrange your schedule, finances, and possessions so you can truly live a generous and open-handed life in a tight-fisted world. May the Lord bless you and guide you as you learn to systematically give, spontaneously give, and simplify your life to be even more generous with your time, talent, treasure, and things.